Okay, I'm gonna try to do a quick rundown of the frog mussels. So I've got the specimen here, uh, which is kind of interesting. It seems to only have one eye. <laughs> In all the years I've taught biology, I don't think I've seen a one-eyed bullfrog, but this one happens to be one that was skinned by Eric Valdez, Edward Ortiz, Avery Chapman. So they did a good job of skinning it and I picked it up and it was ready to go. So anyway, I'm gonna go through the frog muscles. Of course, we're on the dorsal side of the frog here. And apologize for the angle, but I'm using my little iPad and doing the best I can. Sitting in lab, empty, nobody here. Just me and the plants that we moved away from the window. So anyway, um, you start out here uh, behind the, basically what, you know, is the ear of the frog. It's got kind of like an eardrum, an external eardrum. Behind that is a muscle called the depressor and bibularis. And it is, um, I'm kind of getting underneath it there. It's to pull down the lower jaw. Your lower jaw uh, bone is called the mandible. So anyway, that's the depressor mandibularis. There's one here called the dorsalis scapulae, but it's a lot of times hidden uh, where you can't see it. On this frog, you can actually see it. And then you have the latissimus dorsi, and it runs all the way over here to about the middle of the back. Uh, so you have your latissimus dorsi and the depressor mandibularis, and then kind of underneath it is this dorsalis scapulae muscle. Then you come down the back, and then there's a couple of muscles. And notice that on one side, I've uncovered them. On the other side, they've got all that connective tissue that muscles are wrapped in. So you really have to kind of uncover to tell where one stops and one starts. But this is the longissimus dorsi, long, meaning it runs lengthwise as opposed to lateral, sideways up here. This is the latissimus dorsi, longissimus dorsi. And then down here, there's a little, eh, I can kind of show you where they separate right there. See, this starts another muscle called the extensor dorsi communis. So anyway, it's kind of a V-shaped muscle at the bottom or the back side of the back. Over here is the um, external oblique. It's two layers of muscle. So if you cut a little opening in there and look at the layer below it, that's called the internal oblique or the transversus. So there isn't a little square-shaped muscle. I think it's on your diagram over here. It's just where they've cut through to look at the layer underneath. These are your obliques. Like in a gym, you call these your obliques. These are your lats, you know, the upper back muscles. So anyway, this is the uh, external oblique is the outer layer of muscle. So anyway, depressor mandibularis latissimus dorsi eh, on top of the dorsalis scapulae, longissimus dorsi, extensor dorsi communis is that muscle there. And then this is the external oblique. And then when you get down into the leg, essentially we're just gonna hope that you know three muscles on the back side of the frog on the leg. This one here is the triceps femoris because this bone is the femur. So this is the triceps femoris has three places of attachment. That's what triceps means. So you see an attachment point there, attachment point there. Then this is the semimembranosus muscle. There's a muscle you may or may not see from this side and we'll talk about it when we flip the frog over. It's called the gracilis minor. This calf muscle is your gastrocnemius. Our calf muscle is the same name, gastrocnemius. So let's flip it over and kind of start there since we're looking at the leg muscles. So we've got the gastrocnemius, okay, calf muscles, right? And it's kind of stiff because of it you know, being dead and preserved. So you got your gastrocnemius. Got a bunch of muscles here. You're not gonna have to know those. So you just have to know that the calf muscle is gastrocnemius and that it is attached to the foot bones by the Achilles tendon or tendon of Achilles. So Achilles tendon, gastrocnemius. Then on your thigh muscles here, you've got a group of muscles that start with the sartorius. This muscle is the one we saw from the other side called the triceps femoris. And so I'm underneath, uh, it's kind of a thin strappy muscle called the sartorius. It covers up the adductor magnus. You have a big muscle called the gracilis major and gracilis minor. So those muscles, you know, are in the thigh region when you're looking at this frog from a ventral view. Notice we're looking at him from his belly side. Then we have um, in the belly region, and I apologize for the angle, I'm trying to get this so y'all can see it. This muscle here, your abs, your six pack, whatever you want to call it, that's called rectus abdominis. Over here, 
external oblique, same muscle we saw from the back. But then your pecs, your pectoralis muscle, this video gets so close, and I'm trying to hold this far away to get a better angle. Anyway, here's our pecs, our pectoralis muscles in here, and they also run down the side over here. So in your diagram, you'll see the pectoralis is here and here, and then there's a, a set of two muscles. The biceps, it goes over here, kind of in a weird place, different from our biceps, which is your, you know, muscle you, when you pull up your arm and show your muscle, that's it. And then the shoulder muscle is a little muscle like back behind it right there, the deltoid. Your deltoid is your shoulder muscle, biceps, you know, front part of your uh, upper arm muscle is there on the frog. And then after you, you know, you see how it stops, then this is all pectoralis muscle in here. And then again, it runs down. You can see how it stops right there and here, and then this rectus abdominis. This muscle running across, oh, sorry. Oh, goodness, it's not easy. Running across here, that is the um, mylohyoid. You have a bone that connects to your tongue called the hyoid bone, and so that's kind of where that name comes from. The mylohyoid runs across there. So those are your frog muscles, and sorry you aren't here to do this to yourself.